Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Porter over here on uh, Washington Street down by Dale Street in Roxbury. Uh, just showing you another um, national grid checking out of the gas leak. You know, this stretch here has been having some problems like Blue Hill Ave has been having. They're finding multiple gas leaks along the stretch. Um, let me see if I can walk over and show you these guys excavating. And just so you know, I, the video I did earlier is maybe like two blocks down the street. Let's see if I can, you might be able to see it from here. If you zoom all the way down, you can see the national, see the lights flashing down there. National Grid's working on a, another gas leak down that direction. But, you know, just want to make you guys aware that there are quite a few uh, gas leaks that pop up around the city of Boston. And they kind of go, like, unnoticed, so no one really seems to care about it. But sometimes they're bigger than they, what they should be. Now, this one, I don't know what they got going on, but we're going to check this one out, because they got one going on up here. And they got something going on down here as well. So, um... We might get a three for one today. Go down there and check that one out too. Probably K1. Uh, let's get a little footage on this one K1. first. A little footage. We'll walk down to the other side too and see what they got going on down there. This, uh, this is a big gas main that, that I understand that's made out of cast iron that runs somewhere up up and down um, Washington Street. I'm not too sure how big it is. I, I, somebody said it was an eight inch. I'm not too sure if it's an eight inch or not, but that, that's all speculation. Might be bigger than an eight inch. Who knows? I will ask one of the, the workers when I see him, maybe they might be able to tell me. So they're digging up one here. Take a walk down the street, see what they got going on down there. Um, and these gas leaks are popping up like sporadically. Um, some levels are okay, like they, 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 they let some levels of gas, as long as it's not major, they just let it go go by. But when it gets too serious, when it starts getting into the um, the other manholes, then that that becomes a concern. So allegedly they have some gas escaping and it was getting into one of the Verizon um, manholes and it was going through the Verizon chase that was ended up inside of some buildings. So they were going door to door to all the complexes to um, make sure there was no gas inside the buildings. And I don't know if you guys are aware of it, a lot of these buildings have um, conduit that come from like manholes into the building so gas could easily escape into it if it's not plugged up properly and um, they got another gas leak down here somewhere too let's see what they have and they've been they've been kind of busy all in this area I think there's another one on the other side too so We'll try to keep an eye on things and see what we can find out. Um, they may not tell us everything, but it speak, kind of speaks for itself. They're not just digging the ground for no reason at all. If you think these guys just woke up in the morning and started digging the ground because they felt like it, <laughs> that's, that's not what happened. I'm not too sure what she's got going on. This car's trying to go that way. 
and he, she's trying to go that way, and that's not working out too well. You know what, Boston drivers are the, some of the worst drivers. They don't have any um, skills in driving. And I, I noticed that time and time again. They, they, their skills are very, very poor when it comes to maneuvering in, in the city of Boston. That's a small vehicle, so there's no reason why she, she can't maneuver that. So over here they're doing a um, excavating. Like I said, uh, you're going to see a lot of these over around the city of Boston now. Look at this one, almost hit the car. Wow. And I'm not too sure, they might be digging up here too. Based on all these markings on the ground, I can see all these markings here. Um, when you see that many markings on the ground, that means they plan on, they may plan on digging up here as well. That'd be another video, but where those cones are, I think they plan on doing some more excavating up here. Matter of fact, if you look real close, they might have a they might have a target spot that they are focusing on. Yeah, there's a lot of cones up here for them not to be. I think that might be their next step. They might be planning on digging up here. They're kind of saving these spaces just in the event that they gotta um, they gotta they gotta dig over here. And gas lines there. Some of these, like I said, some of these gas lines are so old. Um, you wouldn't know where to start on fixing them. This, that's how bad they are. I just want to show you a little uh, work over here. This is at Deal in uh, Regent Street in Roxbury. You guys can see that. All right, let these guys do their, do their thing. Just want to show you a little activity. I walked back up to the other one and um, they didn't go down to the one down the street. And so you guys can see all the ones that's taking place. They probably be out here for the, probably, probably for the majority of the night trying to find these um, sporadic gas leaks. That's you can see, you can smell the smell of gas too. Eventually, they're gonna have to replace the main. Um, I think that's what they're trying to avoid not not to do. But eventually, they may have to replace that whole main that goes up Washington Street. Up, it goes up and down Washington Street all the way through. You know, just a matter of time. I just want to put a little bit of different things on there. Alright, uh, can I have you head into the ER BMC there for a walk and assault victim? Stated that uh, she was maced by her daughter. So we're going to be code 19 Franklin Hill Ave. I have it. Thank you. And, um, Boston Gas been working. I, I'm surprised these guys even get a break. They've been working like around the clock. Around the clock. They have a crew that works, you know. Morning crew, evening crew, overnight crew. These guys been for the last like three months that or maybe even longer that I know. They've been working around the clock, like fixing all these uh, these gas leaks, all up and down Blue Hill Ave. Some of those side streets that go off of Blue Hill. 
um, pots of humble to have. I see them all over the place. And they're fixing a lot of them too. There's quite a few of them. Another truck right there. Probably looking for another gas leak. We'll find out where he's going in a second. Might be coming here. Now he's, he's probably, or he is pulling here. Yeah, so these guys, these guys are working too hard, man. They, they, they deserve a break. They, they actually been working kind of like non-stop. Got the detail officer over here as well, so he might be pulling an all-nighter. How, how, many, how many gas leaks you got in one area? How many gas leaks you got in this one area? I know, they, like, I see you guys work like around the clock, man. It's crazy. Same in the game. Yeah, it's job security. <laughs> Gotta keep you. Hey, what's happening? How you doing, man? Good, good. Job security for everybody today. Even even for me. Even though even though I don't get paid, but it's something to keep me busy. These these gas leaks are all over the city of Boston, and, and they're only getting worse. They're not getting any better. Um, I'm gonna ride down to that one down the street down there too, where you see the flashing lights all the way down. Um, I'm gonna keep it on the same video. Yeah, I keep it on the same video, why not? And you guys get to see what's going on. All right guys, I'm gonna head up out of this one. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can go down to the next one. Uh, never go against the light, they always say that. Oh, thanks, man. Take care. Be safe. All right, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go swing down to that one. That's about it's about two blocks down the road, right by um, Townsend Street. Catch you guys on the other side over here, Charlie. Four, five, four. Headed in there. You guys want me to head it to the boat, you guys? See what they got going on over here. They, they um, they're doing their best to try to relieve this uh, problem, but we'll see what happens. So that's that's probably the target area, right where they got the uh, the markings there. This is probably where they may, where they may start excavating. Not sure yet. We'll find out once they start digging. PDC does have a good amount of markings on there. Out of yet, but it, hey, it's up there. Just want to show you what's going on. One of many uh, events. It's a lot of planning too. You gotta, you gotta have a game plan. You just don't want to start breaking ground and not have a game plan. So we'll keep an eye on things, and maybe later on they might, they might start here. They might, might move down the street. We're not sure yet. 
I heard they had some pretty good readings out of. Uh, I'm trying to get figure out where that hole is. At. I think that I think there's a manhole somewhere down there. Maybe further down. I think that they have some good readings out of there somewhere. All right, guys, I'm gonna head up out of here. Keep you guys informed what's going on. Can't make out all that writing, but you guys get to see what it says. So I guess it's the 12. Might be a 12 inch line in there, who knows? Alright guys, catch you guys on the next one.